two pieces uh, in this show. Uh, one is right behind me. It's called uh, Pleasure Places of All Kinds. It's part of a series and uh, each sculpture is defined by a specific location. Uh, so you can see two models are actually from China uh, behind me. They are uh, part of this ongoing phenomena that's called nail houses. And nail houses uh, has been appearing and disappearing since uh, quite a while. And a lot in China, uh, where there are a lot of uh, mega projects uh, by uh, companies and governments to take over neighborhoods uh, uh, and uh, kind of implement their urban uh, plans over the neighborhoods and uh, buy from the owners their houses and completely transform uh, one neighborhood and or area, particular area and or district. So in these two sculptures you can see two examples, two owners refuse to sell their houses and what happens, the, those corporations and companies, they enter the area, uh, clean the area uh, 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 and all the other owners left, uh, but except these ones, they refuse to sell their houses. Uh, and so basically these houses are called nail houses. And uh, here you can see two examples. I have done last year two other examples. One of them was from Istanbul. Uh, it, uh, it pretty much had the same kind of this is uh, but a lot of people think it and takes it as a symbol of resistance, uh, individual resistance to big companies or uh, government policies. Uh, so Istanbul was a, was a, one was a similar story. Uh, it was there over a year and uh, although they make uh, every isolation possible like cutting electricity and water and make it really impossible for people to live in those houses um, uh, they refuse to sell and that can prolong the duration and what we have this uh, monumental image of an ordinary house becoming a representative of this uh, single uh, example of resistance Downstairs I have a sculpture that is part of an ongoing uh, project, um, I would rather call it campaign. It uh, started uh, two years ago and we did the first version, uh, uh, the conclusion and maybe the startup of the first version in the US at the Michigan State University um, uh, Broad Museum. And, uh, and now at the moment in the UK, the second chapter of the project, the UK version of the, of the campaign is happening and it's called The Day uh, After, Day After Death. Uh, so the whole idea was asking, including me, asking uh, other artists, uh, commissioning them uh, to make sculptures that are coin-operated machines. So they collect money, sort of a donation box or they have a simple function when you throw a coin or money banknote inside. Uh, so we have had uh, five artists contributing in the US and all the money collected through the sculptures, not only inside, uh, collected inside, but also if they are sold in the art, art market uh, and resold again uh, through a conceptual agreement that I developed together with a lawyer. Uh, uh, they are taking the money that, is, uh, that comes after the sale goes to the same organization same uh, activist organization. So in the US, the organization we collaborated with was called uh, Strike Deaf, uh, and their current name is the Deaf Collective, and they had this uh, uh, functional project uh, called uh, Rolling Jubilee. And uh, I call the whole entire project as a kind of counter-financial uh, work and campaign, uh, and in parallel to what they do, uh, basically with this organization they uh, we will give the money to them and they decide what to do with it but they actually have a creative idea and their previous idea was rolling jubilee was buying from the banks loans of individuals student loans of individuals instead of asking this money back they will abolish it and people don't need to pay it back so they will fundraise and they can buy huge amount of i think up until now 18 million dollars debt from the banks in the u.s and they abolish it. And right now they are uh, doing uh, new strategies after the successful strategy because the numbers are quite big. Uh, it's above $1 trillion uh, student debt uh, currently uh, in the US. 
And in UK, the situation is not as large, but it's becoming really large. And after the US, it's the, uh, it's the second place that the issue is uh, quite big um, to address. And, and when I was approached to bring this uh, concept to the UK, uh, we commissioned three more artists within the British Art Show. And we have now three sculptures. Uh, also, we'll be traveling around the UK and hopefully in the future will be sold and resold and resold again. So it will be ongoing, constant fundraising for this uh, equivalent organization called Jubilee Dev in the UK. Uh, again, fight against student debt issue. Uh,